Ladies and gentlemen, Ladies denizens and gentlemen. of the internet, welcome to another episode of What's, What's It Good For? This is something I've begged wait, this wait, you come proud, up with that intro? That was handsome weird. man. I have begged him <laughs> this to bit, create this light. Well, you know, this makes it hard for lighting because it's hard to do on camera. Actually, there's more hair there than I thought. It kind of sanded my hair. <laughs> Uh, you're truly uh, not Bruce good Willis. Luck, good yet. luck. No, it never will be. I have seriously begged Peter for this product for a long time because we and already. Go ahead. Wait, let me finish. Okay, go hey, ahead. You walk all over what I no, do. No, I was going to say there's a That's reason. It. I'm going home. <laughs> there's a reason uh, we didn't bring it up right away. You've been asking for a long time, and I'll tell you in a second why it took so long to come it up. It took with him this a long product. time to design it. Now, we originally had a product that was just a warm white light you could snap into your ceiling and it was great but it was a one trick pony that's all it did uh we needed one that would fit every kind of ceiling use you could have uh as far as a snap in is it fair to say snap in can well, i say that it snaps in it's got these dog ears you you cut the hole that's drop snap. ceiling in that's a snap in a drop ceiling or drywall or whatever your ceiling yeah. is and you just push it in very very lightweight so go easy ahead. to install go ahead and so, <clears throat> what's great about these is you can totally control them via DMX now, and you can get them in RGBW, warm white, and, and warm white, and RGBW. Yeah. And it's not just RGBW. We we Tweet kind it. of come up just like on our uh, spatial pendants. These are called the spatial flats because they go in flat. They don't no, they don't take up a lot of ceiling space, but uh, they are not. Uh, RGBW, they are RGBWW. The the white is an actual warm white. <clears throat> you find it just it matches everything uh, a little bit better. Yes. All right. So one of the reasons it took so long to come up with, we don't know what your building looks like. I don't know if it's a hundred years old. If you have asbestos, or you have flammable stuff in there, or you live in a cave. Yeah. I did not want a crazy hot fixture. So we've been seeing some in some of the schools that are. Uh, been putting in these massive uh, fluid cooled. They have they actually have mm -hmm. like radiators, fluid cooled uh, LED fixtures that you can bake uh, a loaf of bread on. Didn't want that. And you know what else about those? They're crazy expensive. Oh my gosh, they're crazy seven, eight hundred bucks a piece. Uh, these are low voltage. You run a speaker wire to each one. Um, the way the box is designed, you run uh, four home runs. You could put four lights per. So each controller is good for four lights. Sixteen. <laughs> okay. Go back to school. He didn't pass math. <laughs> four home runs, four lights each. Oh, How many four lights? lights each? I think it said four, one light per each. Well, you could do one light per each, but you could put up to four lights. They run in series. If it's not like Christmas tree lights, if one fails, uh, the rest don't go out. Uh, but what's nice is. You you don't even have to pass this through codes, other than if your codes inspects your low voltage wiring. Two wires for the warm white, five wires for the RGBW. Bring that up just a little, because we don't want to white. overpower the camera. Yeah, a little more. Here, let's light your face up. That's the warm white. Um, it gets very bright. Yeah, and you could you could touch this, put your face on it. It's never going to get so hot you can't touch it. So very safe to install. Um, hey, genius designer guy. You talking to me? Yeah. And How many watts is that? It's a 30 watt fixture. Okay. Extremely bright. Um, Don't let 30 watts scare you. They're seriously bright. And it's nice as they're crazy, crazy affordable. Yes. Uh, oh my gosh, you can almost do, you could do 16 for the price of about two of those other lights we were talking about. Uh, anybody can install this easy to add to your system. It does have a mean well power supply. Anybody who knows kind of electronics, mean well are, are your better power supplies. It still has a fan. They still make noise. You're not going to put this within the building itself. You'll put it in an electrical room. You'll put it in a utility closet. You'll put it in a sound booth. Uh, uh, but relatively quiet for mm -hmm. what it's doing. And one fan, 16 lights instead of 16 lights with one fan each. Okay, this is all or nothing, folks. It's all RGBWW or warm white. You cannot intermix within one controller. 
But of course, you can get multiple controllers and intermix your lights. Any Just not you within one controller. It's one or nothing. Okay? And uh, as you can see, beautiful reds. So, nice. oh, you're looking at our prototype system right here. This is our very first one. We had a, a few runs at it, a few prototypes. We finally loved it. Uh, the first batch is on the way. We have several hundred arriving uh, next week. So by the are time we allowed, we're ready... Are we allowed to give a price point on these? We haven't talked about it. Uh, the only thing when we do price points on videos is prices may change, tariffs come and go, but let's just say this is each fixture is well, well under a hundred. Yeah, under. And uh, the goal is to keep pushing the price lower and lower as we order more quantities, higher quantities of these. Mm -hmm. Anyway, you like? That's great. I love, you finally listened to me. For once. For once, <laughs> for once. <laughs>